pajamas. I'm gonna start it off with this. They're from Target. They got the little, you know, constellations on them. Matching pants. So let's just start off that hole with this. Target. I don't remember how much they were. They're probably like 25-ish dollars. I probably got them when they were on sale though. And they got a little like knot thing right here. Like a twist, but not a twist. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, they were cute. And um, I bought them. I also have a full face of makeup on today. Um, because I wanted to. Because I spent all the money on makeup and I don't go anywhere to use it. So today I was like, screw it, we're gonna feel pretty. Um, today I have another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, but I also have a few things I got from the Target Dollar Spot, um, and Ross, and that's it, that's right, 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 right. Oh, one other thing, the Five Below, which I guess I'll start with. Uh, I went to Five Below, um, and I found this book. It was the only thing I got, um, it was five bucks. They were closing. They were literally closing in five minutes, so I just, like, ran in, because, um, Mandy needed to go to GameStop, and there was the Five Below. Anyway, I ran in. I just got this one book. It's called The Astrology Dictionary Cosmic College from A to Z. Um, it's just a little book full of information about, like, you know, um, quadrants and the uh, definition and, like, what it means, you know, kind of thing. So I bought this to add to my witchy book collection. I have quite a bit of books on, you know, um, astrology, spell work. I also got. Um, some that's like, I have a lot of books on herbs, like what they're used for, magical or, you know, uh, medicinal. But, but anyway, I added this to the collection. I haven't read it, didn't look through it yet. I do already know a lot of the references in this book and what they mean. Um, but I thought maybe my daughter, who's been really getting into the craft with me, would really, this would be really helpful for her. So. I got that. It was five bucks. It was originally $13.99, but I got it for five doll pairs. So that was the only thing I got at Five Below. Um, the only other thing, actually, let me talk about this mug real quick. I got this mug from TJ Maxx, actually. Um, it's not part of this haul. This is I got this my last video or two videos ago. I'm not really sure. Um, there was a TJ Maxx haul. This was one of the things I bought. It was only $3.99. And it's cute. It's pretty decent size. Um, it's from... No, it doesn't say. Do not microwave hand wash only. That's fine. I don't have a dishwasher anyway. <laughs> I am the dishwasher. But I'm drinking from it. I wanted to include it because this was a recent purchase. And if you like it, run out to your local TJ Maxx. Uh, Marshalls might also have it since they're like a sister company or whatever. But I love this mug. I'm going to place that right here to get out of the way because I don't want to, I don't want to um, knock it over. All right, let's start off with um, Target Dollar Spot. Target, I got these. This, I didn't get this at the same time. I got this for Christmas. By, by, I went, Manny, I want this for Christmas. We bought it. I wrapped it, stuck it on the tree. It's one of my Christmas presents. I love it. It's a cute pajama set. Um, but I did get a few things from the dollar spot. If you hear that music playing, my kids are right over there in the living room. They're listening to stuff on their tablets and stuff. So, yeah, it's what a mama's got to do to, you know, get some time to film some stuff. But um, I went to the Target dollar spot not because I was, some of y'all know, I work at Target. Oh, <laughs> surprise, surprise. Um, and Manny was late picking me up one day. So while I was waiting for him to come get me, I just ran over to this dollar spot because, hello, or Bullseye's Playground, whatever it's called now. I don't know. I call it the dollar spot. But I got this little two-pack of um, this thing called potholder. Jesus. And um, I got this potholder and this towel, and the two of them were only $3.00. And they match my kitchen because I got a lot of grays and very light colors. So I grabbed that. 
Um, I also grabbed this little box. It's just like a little cardboard box. I don't know. I figured I'd use it for either like a Valentine's gift for one of my kids or like just to store things in. Either way it was cute. Um, it looks like it's craft paper or like a paper paper but it's not it's got like a glossy finish if you look real close but I thought it was cute and this one was only three dollars um I got this journal it is so cute and um, this was only three dollars hold on let me open it so like it's better it was only three dollars and I want to use this one for my plan is anyway um, cause it's lying too. I wanted to use this for, um, my gardening, gardening information because, uh, this year I want to write down anything. Do you see how it's got like this little thing and it comes with these little papers to not crochet. I forgot what you would call it. Um, you know, you just weave it in between and it turns into like a little bee. You can see it better on there. So, you know, a little pollinator. Uh, so I wanted this book to write down like gardening information. What, what you know, what did well, what didn't well, do well this year, what fertilizer I use, or if I do anything different. You know, things that I learn gardening add to this little book and use it as a reference for me in the future because, um, Oh, so it comes with a little needle, like a little, not crocheting needle, I don't know what this is called, is it? You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Like, anyway, you leave the string in between these holes, and it makes it be. But it, either way, it's cute, and that's why I bought it for, because I'm going to use it to write down information that I learned this year while I tend to my garden. Um, and that was it all I got. Oh, no, no. One last thing. I got this also from the Target Dollar Spot. It's a, they call it a crafting, a four count crafting tools used with your cutting machine projects include scrapers, scissors, weir, and tweezers. And I bought this because, um, my next big purchase for myself, which is still not going to be a while I'm saving up for it. I want to get a Cricut really bad. Um, and these are like the tools that you use to like pull the stickers off because if you don't know what a Cricut is it's a machine that makes like labels or like um iron on decals um sticker decals like anything you it's a crafter's dream so um i want to invest in one of those eventually and they have tools like this you can buy kits like this that helps you like pull the stickers away from the vinyl backing and whatnot so I bought this because the Cricut brand is super expensive and I it is like looks exactly the same the same kind of stuff comes in it so I bought this for hopes of not having to purchase one of those when I already make the investment in a expensive ass Cricut you know what I mean so that was the only things I got from the Target dollar spot again I was only there for like 10 minutes waiting for Manny to come get me so um let's start with um so I went to Dollar Tree again <laughs> surprise surprise uh we needed sponges and you know how that is <laughs> you needed sponges you walk out with a bunch of stuff you do not need um so here's the sponges and there is a new pattern because if you shop there religiously like I do you know what patterns are there usually and what's new see this is also new and this one this red one is an old pattern but this is a new one this is a new one um but anyway i also bought this just to throw it in there i, I bought this dish tub to put in, in my sink to soak dishes you know so that's that's it and i didn't use a bag i told the lady too so just put everything back in there so that's uh, i bought a dish pan no big cheese there. Um, I bought some candles. Although I have been making my own candles lately. And uh, let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. Um, they're super cute. I put like little herbs and stuff on top of them. Like 
and they smell delicious. I've been making my own candles. I haven't been purchasing too many, but I did buy, oh, that's a lie. I bought them off Bath and Body Works when they had that sale. I bought a bunch of the one wicks for like $6. But it's Bath and Body Works for six bucks. You can't not not buy it. You know what I mean? Um, but these were cute. They had these little gold hearts on there and it just says cinnamon sparkle. Cinnamon sparkle. But I bought it because it smells like those red cinnamon hearts from, you know, that you get around Valentine's Day. And I love those. They taste so good. And they smell so good. So I bought two of them. Um, because candles. You can never have enough, right? Um, I also bought, oh my God, jackpot on this. I forgot all about this stuff. Okay, so if you wear makeup, which I do, honestly not often I just put on some today I made a TikTok about it too because I have all this freaking makeup and psh, nowhere to go and I didn't care I put a full face of makeup on just because it's got a little wing action because because but anyway okay well let's start with these I got the sassy and chic nails that I uh, me and my daughter do sometimes it's very rare like because I I work at Target um but what I do is like the truck and stuff in the morning, we're like inbound team, so like I'm rough on my hands. So like to get my nails done professionally is just not it, sis, it's not happening, you know? So it's once in a while when I wanna throw something on because there's an event or something, I will buy these. And they work fine. Um, but these are four new, uh, four new designs, and again, I'm hard on my nails, so I don't go and pay and get them done professionally. But once in a while, if there's an event or something and I want to look extra, I will throw these on. And if they fall off in like a day or two or a week, I've actually had these uh, last longer than a week. But if they don't last longer than the event, then who cares? You know, it was a dollar. So these were some new designs. This is a little gold and pink. Um, gold and pink action with like some marble. Super cute. Um, pink, white, or actually it's like clear, white, black with some gold lining. I hope you guys are being able to see that. I'm not being touched out by this bright ass light I got going on. And these blue ones, which I really, really like. It's like geometric pattern. Love it. Um, and this one is black and white. But also some like geometric patterns. Super cute. Oh, so again, if you wear makeup, take your ass to the Dollar Tree. Because I found Maybelline, Hard Candy, Wet n Wild. I, I know this, these brands are super expensive to begin with, but if you can get it from the Dollar Tree for a dollar, why wouldn't you? Um, so here's the Maybelline Color Jolt Lip Paint in Berry Naughty. Um, go Beyond Gloss with a jolt of intense color, Maybelline's. Vibrant Lip Paint. Delivers eight times more pigment in every drop. So I bought this one, and it's called Very Naughty. Very Naughty. And um, then I got another one of those color jolts, and this one is in Stripped Down, which is kind of a new, but a little darker. Um, I got a Maybelline Rusty Terracotta, or it's a Maybelline Lasting Drama Matte Automatic lip pencil oh no 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 this is a oh. this is an eyeliner all right I thought it was a lip liner but it's an eyeliner in rusty terracotta so there it is there's the color thought that was a lip liner but it is what it is um one is this here's another wet and wild this is gel lip liner and does it have a color in sand nude so that's just a lip liner a nude lip liner which every girl can use right i got another one of those lip liners this one is in think flamingos not to be john waters maybe or just maybe think flamingos in general um, then I got this Hard Candy Soft Glide Long Wear Eyeliner in Abyss. 
Now it does say glitter, glitter liner. So there's glitter amongst this, but it, Abyss, which is just a basic black, I guess, with some glitter in it. Hard candy. Again, all this stuff, guys, is not that expensive to begin with, but why wouldn't you, if you can find it at the dollar store, get it at the dollar store. Now these liquid cat suits, I have so many of these already that I have paid full price for, and uh, I love them. They're great. They last forever. Um, they're perfect with masks because we all got to wear masks now, right? Like when you put on these cat suits, they're not going anywhere. Um, so I highly, highly recommend these and I found them at the dollar store. Well, real quick, let me get this. I got a Mega Slicks lip gloss. Wet n Wild's Mega, Slip, lip, Mega Slicks lip gloss in rose gold. Just call it rose gold. That's what it looks like. Rose gold. So give that a go. Uh, but these liquid cat suits, get them. Highly recommend. Uh, I don't have this one. I never, I, satin sheets is what it's called. I've never gotten this one, but um, again, I'll give it a go. Nothing wrong with a nude. And that was also, did I say the color in this one? Did I, did I? Yeah, satin sheets. It's kind of a rose gold also. And then this guy, which I might have already because I know I did buy a bunch of the red ones. Um, I might have, I might not. Um, behind the bleachers. Behind the bleachers. Damn, okay, well, well. What happens behind the bleachers stays behind the bleachers. You know what I mean? Okay, so that was it for the makeup stuff. But again, guys, go get you some. It's a dollar. Make you holla. Um, the rest of the stuff I got from Dollar Tree is kind of some artsy crafty stuff. I got this little, they just call it Scraptility Knife Set, um, the Crafter Square stuff. This is my favorite line now at the Dollar Tree. I love it. Um, the Crafter Square stuff is my favorite section. I like beeline it the minute I go in there. And that's the place too, like if you see something you like, get it because it's not going to be there the next time you go. So this is just um, a little utility knife set, you know, to cut things out um, if you're scrapbooking or a book of shadow making. There you go. Um, so it just comes with all these different heads that you stick onto this little metal thing that you use to cut things out or cut things in general. And um, I have one. I have one of these little scalpels is what I call it. I always go, give me my scalpel or whatever. But um, I have one, but it's only one head. And it looks like this one on the bottom. These are all, like I said, different. And it was a dollar. Like, why wouldn't you? You know what I mean? I bought some more of these chalkboard tags. Um, simply because I thought they were cute. And I will find um, some sort of something to do with them. This one's just round. And they all do come with the little, like, string tag attached. And this one's just shaped like your basic gift tag kind of thing. So I got those. And then this stuff, guys, I'm super excited about this. Now, I bought these little wood like cutouts. Again, these are the Crafter Square brand at the Dollar Tree. I got these, all these little wood cutouts. I got one like this. It's just like a sign shape. I got this one. That's a star. Um, and then this one, which is a little thicker than the other two, because the other two are thin. This one's a little thicker. Um, and again, it's just like another little sign shape. Um, I bought those because I just recently bought myself a, a little wood burning tool and I wanted to start trying to make things out of here, like little signs or, I don't know, crafty stuff, guys. Like, just, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. So me and my daughter have just been making things. So, uh, so I bought these. I'm going to try to use my little wood burning tool. I don't really know what I'm going to put on them yet, but something. I know what I'm going to do with these, though. Now, these, this is just their regular cooking line. What is it? Cooking Concepts. They have these all the time. They're just wood utensils. And I bought two of each, right? Yeah, so I got two of the slotted two of the regular spoons and two of these like slotted spatulas, I guess you would call it. Is that what they call them? Slotted turner. It's a spatula. Anyway, so I bought these because I'm going to go kitchen witch tools for me and my BFFs. My little 
Compton, James Betty. You know who you are. Um, so I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna try, try, right? It's all you can do. It's all you can do it. Just try. You hear that? It's my train. This train's going by. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna put little like witchy sigils, or maybe even put like kitchen witch with a little pentacle. Um, um, or maybe like a little pentacle right here on the spoon. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm gonna make all different kinds of designs, but I'm super excited about it, guys. And um, I'm gonna make some again for my people and for me. But yeah. So again, I'm gonna put like little sigils, little um, designs, words. You know, as far as my imagination will take me, and I'm pretty excited about these. Um, once I make them too, I will share a video on them, like what I did, what they look like, or maybe like an Instagram post or something. I don't know. I really should show you more of the stuff I do, like the candles. You want me to show you how to make candles? Uh, super easy. Or my bath bombs. I make bath bombs. Um, they're great. I I don't mean to toot toot my own horn, but toot toot. Um, my bath bombs are some of the best bath bombs I've ever used. <laughs> and I can say that, okay? I'm not humble. I'll we'll just keep it that way. But literally, like, what I use, I, I perfected it. And what I use in them is just, my skin is so soft after. So, I maybe do a video on showing you how I do that. Would you be interested? Let me know. Comment down below. Oh, hi, kitty. Hi, 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 yes, mittens. Okay. So that's it for Dollar that Tree, I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, okay. Um, okay, now you can't jump up here. You can't jump up here. Okay. Um, so that was Dollar Tree. Oh, and then he just jumps up here. Okay, let your time to shine. Here's Mittens, Mr. Mittens make two shots. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good boy. Go down. Tap in, leave him alone. There goes my dog, because now he's going to get jealous. Like, oh, you messing with the cat for not me. So that's it for Dollar Tree. And then I went to Ross um, with the uh, Manuel Lisa. We had a date night. We just went to do a little shopping because why not? And I saw these <gasps> more wooden spoons. Um, but I bought them because if I get good at this, I'm just gonna make a bunch and then have some on hand for like presents and stuff. But also, um, this was only $3.99. For one, two, three, six, for six of them. Three ninety nine for six of them, which is already cheaper than the dollar store because these are a dollar a piece. So three ninety nine I got six of them. It was a better deal. Um, honestly, they look exactly the same. Let me open them. Exactly. Exactly. These are exactly the same. So keep that in mind, just so you know. If you're planning on trying to do something like this go to Ross or like TJ Maxx because the price is different and also they have um like this is the same it's the exact same they have same length same everything um except for this one I don't think Dollar Tree has this design uh, Dollar Tree might have this one I didn't see it there this time Slotted spoon it's exactly the same for a cheaper price it's a better deal we'll get you some um, I also got these, which is super exciting. I got some bath poofers because we needed more bath poofers, and they're just eco sanctuary and beauty list. They were three ninety nine a piece. I usually get these from the Dollar Tree, um, but we were at Ross and we needed more, and it wasn't that much more than going there. So I guess what it is when well, we got more bath poofs, or what are they called specifically? Well, oh, bath poofs. <laughs> Every time I say path poofs, people go, you loofahs? And I'm like, mm. no, because like, isn't loofah like that natural, like material? And this is plastic poof. Anyway, I call them bath poofs. And apparently I'm not wrong. Bath poof. So that's what we got, uh, or that's, we got it from Ross instead of Dollar Tree. Um... Oh, uh, got it. Just a few more things, a few more things, and this video is already 23 minutes long, but, like, oh, is it a video of mine if it's not, you know, long? Anyway, um, so I got this essential oil set. Yes, Ross sells essential oils, and it's 100% pure essential oils, assorted, seven-pack, therapeutic grade. Um, 
It even says you could use it in topical use, dilute one or two drops of essential oil with a carrier oil. I like to use grapeseed. Um, I know some people like avocado. I've never used avocado oil, I just never had it. So I'm sure it would work just as well. But that's what I also use in my bath bombs is either grapeseed or olive oil. Um, both make your skin feel so good. Um, but I will also use like 10 to 15 drops of an essential oil, depending on how I want it to smell. Um, so they come with, this one comes with grapefruit, clary, sage, tea tree, lemon, patchouli, rosemary, and silver fir. And yeah, I just needed some more. Uh, I already have a ton, but I needed more because I'm running out of certain ones like lavender. So it had lavender. Um, oh wait, no, this one doesn't have lavender. I got the one with lavender. Anyway, there was a couple different ones. I guess I didn't, but I do use lemon a lot. And, and tea tree. I've used tea tree in bath bombs. Um, I thought I had lavender, but I use these in my bath bombs. Um, so there's that. And again, the price for this is $9.99. And but you do get how many were in here? Seven, it said. You do get seven for 99 and that, if you have ever purchased essential oils before, is a very, very good deal because they can be very expensive. I've seen literally one small container of essential oil go for $9.99 and or more. So don't sleep on your Ross or even Marshalls and TJ Maxx for that matter for essential oils. So yeah, I just need to replenish and I got new scents for bath bombs. So there you go. Um, side note, just so you know, there are certain essential oils you can't, that aren't skin, like cinnamon, anything cinnamon, do not put in a bath bomb. Um, I would do your own research before making some, but making bath bombs or any sort of topical skin treatment with essential oils, there are just certain ones that aren't skin appropriate. Um, and again, do your own research. There's thousands of websites and books on the subject, but um, off the top of my head, I know cinnamon is a no-go. I love the smell of cinnamon. Just don't put none of that in your bath bombs. So I got essential oils. I also got this. Guys, I'm super, super excited about this because I've been wanting one of these. I'm sorry, I just shook my camera because I got excited and shook the table and it is what it is. Anyway, I got a rolling pin and it's a marble yes I'm excited I got a marble rolling pin now I do have a wooden one it's right there and it's pretty and all um but I wanted a marble one for one because it's good for like frozen doughs like pie crusts and stuff to keep them cool because you know there are certain things that you roll out that you need cold uh, you need to freeze for like an hour or two before you can use them um and it's best to use a marble rolling pin because it keeps it cold while you're going to town on it, you know? Um, so this one is, it was $9.49. It says it's originally $20, bucks, which honestly is still on the low end. I would have paid $20 for it because I've seen these go for way, way more. Um, but it was $9.49 for a marble rolling pin. It's Kitchen Concepts, marble rolling pin with stand, durable marble construction, storage stand, stabilizes pin, handle with care, um, hand wash only, dry thoroughly. Again, I would only be hand washing it anyway because I am the dishwasher. Let's just open it up real quick. Oh, I got it like saran wrapped. Ah! Oh, I, I did it, I did it. So basically it just comes with like a little stand so when you're not when you're done with it you can just stick it on there and it won't go rolling off your counters and whatnot. And this thing is heavy. This thing is I'll bust your ass. So it's just a good way. Well worth the ten bucks I paid for. Super excited. Okay, I got one other thing, and it's the thing I'm most excited about from Ross, and I was not in the um, market for a piece of artwork because honestly I'm running out of room in my place to hang things but I had to have this and you need to wait just one moment just just, just. okay so guys <laughs> look at it she's so pretty 
played. 1999 for it. Can you believe it? This thing is ginormous too. It's ginormous and it is canvas too, like real canvas. And then it's put in the wood frame. It's painted black. I don't know where it's gonna go. I didn't think about it too much. I just saw her and went be sweet in love. So I got her and she's gonna go somewhere somewhere my son who's obsessed to the moon and moon phases like he's got a shirt I bought him from Target he's just obsessed with space in general um I came to the house and I showed my daughter I was like oh, look at this painting I got I love it and then he turned around and goes it's my painting now <laughs> what you thought boy anyway um so he appreciated it as much as I did and look there's even like like oh god it's just it's so gorgeous it's so gorgeous I love it. I love it. Mm. We gonna call her Celine? Yes, I name random things. <laughs> it just don't make sense. But whatever. I apologize to no one. All right, everyone. That's what I got. That's, that's, that's all I got for you today. Um, it's gonna be a super long, probably half hour video. Yeah, definitely. It's gonna be probably over half hour. Anyway, it is what it is, guys. I make no apologies for that either. If you like the video, or see more like it in the future, subscribe. I hear that helps me out. Um, I, I'm not monetized, nor do I care to be not monetized. I do this simply for fun uh, and to share with you the great deals and the awesome shit I find. Um, so, yeah. If you would like to see more videos like that in the future, subscribe. Um, hit that like button because that apparently helps me out too but again you don't have to do that because I don't really care comment comment though that's fun listening to your all reading I should say your guys comments answering them you know do that that'd be cool and uh that's it that's all I got for you so uh see you in the next one deuces